Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a special reading vlog that I'm doing. Uh, let me grab the book so I can even show you. So this is going to be just a reading vlog dedicated to The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Uh, this is actually an ARC copy right now. It's November 12th. The day Disney Plus comes out. I'm so excited. That's really exciting. Anyway, so this actually doesn't come out until December 30th, but my amazing friend Heather uh, scored this copy for me and I'm so, so excited to read this. And so I decided, cause this is like one of my most anticipated books and I, I should have put this on a five star prediction because like I swear I'm gonna give this five stars even though I don't, I haven't read it yet. I wanted to do a whole like reading vlog for this, just dedicated for this since I feel like I'm going to love it so much. Also, I'm going to include spoilers into this for any of you that have read it and you know, you wanna hear the spoilers, you wanna talk about it in the comments, all that type of stuff. So, sorry, that's my dishwasher going because <laughs> chores. My Christmas tree is already up, so even though it's November, I'm already ready to look at Graham. Graham, there he is. I actually have to go to the post office really quick and do some errands. So I have to go to the post office. I have to run to the store just really quick for a couple things. So I'm probably just gonna go down the road really quick and, and grab a couple things. And then um, before I did that, I was actually about to because I was mailing a book off of my shelf over here. And then I'm just so, I'm just always like rearranging this just because I get books like in the mail. Like I just received um, The Wanderers. I swapped for this and this is like, look how thick that is. So I just received this and so I just had it like sitting up here and I hate when things are up there like that. So I'm about to rearrange it because I had my TBR for November down here, um, but I'm like not reading per my TBR, so that's really bad. So I'm actually going to rearrange it um, and, and put the colors of like my TBR back into the actual bookshelf um, and then pull out the ones that I definitely have to read for November because I'm like getting behind on buddy reads because I'm straight up like trash this month for reading. So I just thought I would turn the camera on and just like kind of rearrange it on camera really quick. It's not gonna be anything fancy, um, but yeah. And then we'll run those errands and then I'm hoping to read The Wives for like almost the whole rest of the day, I hope. she is so beautiful I just have a couple books down there that don't really fit into the colors and also they're just like extra um, so hopefully this is like I just want to have two shelves of books to read and so this is how I know that I need to either a stop buying or stop reading from the library and just read books off of my shelf because I don't want to have books down there I just want to keep them on these two shelves. So that's kind of how I keep myself like accountable. And also like for 2020, um, my goal is to not buy any books. I think I'm going to give myself like two, um, like two books I could buy throughout the year. So it has to be like my most anticipated. I couldn't get them anywhere else. Um, but other than that, I'm not gonna buy any books for 2020 and I'm really, really excited. I feel like these maybe should be switched right here. That. I don't know. Maybe this one should go over here, actually. Like that. I feel like that fits a little bit better. Oh my gosh, you guys. Just got book mail. Lots of mail, actually. So I think I know what some of this is. And some of it I don't. This one says it's from Macmillan. American Dirt, I must have won this from a giveaway. I don't think that this is something that I'm gonna read, but I'll put it in my giveaway pile for my book club. And then I believe this is stuff that I swapped for. <gasps> Yay! We met in December. Super excited about this because this is going in a try a chapter video. It's probably already up by now, <laughs> um, but this was in a try a chapter video. 
so excited about. The return, oh my gosh, so exciting. This is from my friend Nadia. She had won an extra copy, so she gave one to me because she's so nice. Now I don't know how I'm fitting these on my shelves. <laughs> I need to start reading is what I need to do. Uh, oh my gosh, you guys, it's 4.37 and I have not read anything yet today because I just finished like uploading a video, editing a video, then uploading a video and just all of the other things that I had to do today. I'm actually gonna make a pot of tea and we're gonna start reading. Like we're going to do it. We're gonna start reading The Wives and I still have time to like finish it today. So I really wanna do that. I think I'm going to make vanilla chai wherever it is. There it is. This is one of my favorite teas like ever. So we're gonna go ahead and make that and then we're going to read. just finished eating dinner and I am 30 pages into the wives and I am absolutely loving it already. I don't think I actually told you guys like what this book was about. So this book is about this husband that has I think it's three wives but they're all like a different day of the week. Like he all, he visits them all like a different day of the week. So uh, this one lady who's like pregnant, I guess with his child, um, her name, or I guess she's just like called Monday cause he visits her on Monday. And then the lady that we're reading about like from her perspective is Thursday, I think. Um, so, but I think, I think that there's only three wives and he like sees them on those days and then he like, flip-flops between the other days I think um but I think the story of this is that the lady that's I guess her name's Hannah that's on Thursday starts becoming interested in the other wives and starts like stalking them and like wondering who they are so so far all we're kind of reading about is just like how she how she met this guy um kind of how like their day goes when they're like hanging out together or like when it's her day like he comes over for dinner and like they have sex of course obviously um and then she like wakes up the next morning and he's gone to work and then of course she won't see him for another week or whatever um but it's just like so intriguing like the premise is just so much something that i would want to read like it's i just love reading things where i'm like wow like what would i do in that situation or what if the world was that way so i'm really really excited to read this i'm gonna try and sit and read a bunch of it now since like dinner's all done and like i have nothing else planned for the rest of the night so really really excited about this that I noticed. Hannah is one of the other wives and I forget what the actual name of this wife is, like the one that we're reading, like the perspective from, but she just found Hannah's number and then went to go visit her and um, they had, well, the lady's um, mom had come over and was mentioning like when she was gonna have a baby and she said that she had to get an emergency hysterectomy, which is weird because when we're looking at the flashback of her getting with this guy, um, he was already with a wife and he said that he was like getting more wives because he wanted to have like kids with somebody else because he wasn't able to have kids with his first wife. So I don't know why he would marry this Thursday girl if she had an emergency hysterectomy um because like what was the purpose then of having that wife if she couldn't give you kids then i just read about hannah who is the monday wife that does have a baby and she's like supposedly this like perfect person and the thursday wife thinks that she saw bruises on her arm so it's like you know who is this guy like this husband like is he abusing one wife but not another wife? Like, I don't know, that's weird. I think that says that on the synopsis. Yeah, it says, then Hannah starts showing up to your coffee dates with telltale bruises and you realize she's being abused by her husband, who of course is also your husband, but you've never known him to be violent ever. 
Who exactly is your husband and how far would you go to find the truth? Would you risk your own life and who is his mysterious third wife? So I guess that's like the mystery part is like, is this guy abusing one wife and not another? And then who's the third wife? Who is technically his like, I think it was his first wife, like his legal wife. But then he divorced her to marry this Thursday girl. I don't know, it's real confusing, but it's also really interesting. this book and I like I just need answers I I just don't know like I don't know what's happening okay so the lady Thursday is now like she found out that she found out both of the other ladies names one of them's Hannah who's pregnant and one of them's Regina and then she confronted her husband and now she's in like the hospital but like he was mentioning something about like taking her pills and being in a mental hospital before. I don't know if it was like after the whole baby thing, but now I'm wondering if she's an unreliable narrator. And then her husband said something about how like the <clears throat> like address in his pocket um, was just like someone else that had been at the doctor and it like Hannah actually isn't his other wife, I guess. I don't know if that was just an excuse or if that's for real. I have no clue, but like, I'm really confused. Like literally, Taryn Fisher's like throwing like everything at me right now and I don't know what's the truth and what's not the truth. So I don't know if Thursday's just like an unreliable narrator. Like is Hannah really one of his wives or was that somebody else? I have no clue right now, but it is so good. Like I'm really, really loving it right now at the moment. So I only have a hundred pages left. Um, it is 10.30 and so I'm hoping to finish the 100 pages hopefully by 11.30. I would think that I could read them like within an hour because it's just been like a really fast read and I'm really really enjoying it and I'm really excited because like the twists are just like so different. Like I thought that I knew kind of what was happening but now I don't know what's happening and so now I'm questioning like everything and I'm wondering like I didn't know that this was gonna be about an unreliable narrator and so now I'm wondering cause like it's just set up now with Thursday being unreliable. So now I'm wondering if that's what this is or not, but I still don't trust like the husband. I still don't trust Seth. So I don't know, like we'll see. I'll probably update you guys a little bit closer like when I get to the end. Um, and then definitely like afterwards, I want to talk about like, you know, whether that's what I thought was going to happen or not. Um, like, I don't really know where it's going. I'm just like surprised that like, to me, it kind of feels, um, like bad mommy or like I can be a better you. Like it feels like it's being set up the same way now. Um, so I'm interested to see if like Taryn's going to like twist it again to make it not be like that or just like how that's gonna be. So I'm gonna finish these 100 pages. That way I can send off this book to my friend Heather because I know that she's gonna wanna read it next. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just, just watch that. with the wives. I don't know if it's a five star book though. I'm thinking more of it being like 4.5 cause like it's definitely more than a four but I just don't feel as shocked as I would like to feel. It really reminded me of her other thriller book I can be a better you. Cause like in that book like all of the characters were just kind of like crazy um and that's how I feel about this one like I feel like Seth and Thursday and Regina Hannah was kind of innocent but like I feel like all of them were just kind of like crazy and dealing with their own things I don't know 
I guess because I already read a Taryn Fisher novel, I wasn't as shocked, but it did like, like she was flipping back and forth all the time. So I wasn't ever sure if there really was a three wives type of thing or what was going on. I actually kind of wanted it to be, I don't know. I guess that's why I am i don't feel like I'm gonna read it five stars because I love the polygamy aspect. And so I kind of just wanted to see that as the actual storyline. Like knowing that it was all fake now just makes it like, you know, the same type of, un I mean, and I love a good unreliable narrator, but it's just kind of like the same type of story I've seen, you know, with having the unreliable narrator and like she's in the mental hospital and having the little bit of like open-ended ending. Like, don't get me wrong, like this book was really, really good. And I was like, I mean, literally I read it in one night because I just wanted to get to like the end. I wanted to find out what was happening and all that kind of stuff. But I just feel like it could have been, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't the ending that I was expecting. Like I was kind of expecting, but not really expecting. And just because like, how else would you be able to like twist this? Like, of course I thought that Seth was going to be evil. I just wasn't sure how evil. Like I thought that he was just gonna be the one to like make her seem crazy, but that he actually was going to have all of those other wives. So I guess that's kind of how I saw it like playing out. And then I thought that like, you know, the twist like halfway um, where like they want you to think that she's crazy. I thought that that was just trying to like throw you off and that you would think that she was crazy. And then it would turn out well, like, Thursday wasn't crazy because like then it did flip back to that because then I thought that, yeah like Regina um and Hannah were going to like be like no actually like yeah we are his wives and like let's all like you know I don't know attack him or something but like you never find out if he was actually abusive or not like you know you never find out if the bruises on Hannah were actually from him or what and then the ending with like okay so she talked about that guy Robbie and like I don't really know how that plays in I guess that was just like her saying that Robbie like fell and like smashed his head and so like he didn't know that that was gonna happen but that like her doing that to Regina that she was gonna like make sure that Regina knew that it was her that smashed her head in, I guess. But it is kind of weird that she like attacked Regina cause like, I mean, yes, Regina was not like super nice, but like also that was kind of like Seth that did all that stuff to her. And oh my gosh, the like miscarriage part, like that was like really, really sad. Cause I honestly believed, like that was really mean of Regina to like say that Sam gave them tea to like make them both miscarry and I actually like believed that and I was like oh my gosh like this character is like legit evil but then it turned out that like that wasn't even true I don't know there's a lot of things to think about so I think I'm gonna sleep on this book and then update you guys just to finish this like reading vlog just because there's a lot of things I have to think about for this before I like officially give it a rating because like it was a good book I definitely think a lot of people, like a lot of thriller people will love it, especially if you haven't read like these types of books. Like I love these types. So I read a lot with like unreliable, unreliable narrators and stuff. Um, but I feel like if this is one of your first that has that, like you're gonna be like in complete shock with how many times Taryn Fisher like, you know, throws you back and forth. Um, and like, I love the premise. I just with, I, I just wish that the polygamy would have been like actually true because like that was the that was one of the most interesting parts like i loved reading how she thought that like he had two other wives like that was very very interesting i loved that part so much so i'm gonna go to bed now and i will try and talk to you guys another day to end this video hi it's december 28th editing jackie so i am just finishing up editing the vlog that I did for the wives that you are currently watching obviously if you're watching this and I realized that I never quite finished telling you guys my exact thoughts for it so I actually brought up my Goodreads review because I ended up writing the Goodreads review um, I think like a couple days after I finished reading the book and I ended up going with just a four star rating and part of that was because I felt like 
the book just wasn't exactly the way that I thought it was. Like I really wanted the polygamy aspect to be like the main factor of the book and it ended up not being that way. And so especially with me reading so many thrillers, I wasn't as shocked at the ending. So that definitely made the reading go down. After thinking about it, didn't appreciate the fact that this is another book that I read in 2019 that makes a woman a crazy unreliable narrator after the fact that she has dealt with miscarriage or losing a baby and so that's something where like okay the first book that I read that had that storyline like that was fine but I feel like in this day and age like with 2019 um, it just became really really popular to have that as a trope and it gets to a point where like I am tired of people thinking that if you deal with losing a baby or having a miscarriage that means that you're going to be a crazy person and so you know after it's not Taryn's fault that like she included this and like I've read five books that like have that already this year but at the same time like I really hope authors stop including that type of stuff in their thriller books or in any books in general uh for 2020 like I want them to include it in something like All Your Perfects like Colleen Hoover where sure it talks about it but it doesn't mean that the character is crazy and that she's like making up things and hallucinating like that's not that's not what happens when you deal with stuff like this so it just like irritates me that it's like immediately a woman that has a miscarriage in a thriller book means that eventually at the end she's going to be like murdering people and in a mental hospital that's what i see and i just really don't like that so that also turned me off for part of this book i did really like how like twisty that this book was i loved how she was like th trying to throw me off all the time so that was really great and i still like am going to read more thrillers that taryn fisher puts out for some reason i don't like her romance books but i do enjoy reading her thrillers so if she does write another thriller in the future like i'm totally going to read it i think that is all my thoughts for this book i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading vlog definitely let me know like fill up the comment section down below i want to hear all of your thoughts about this book i want to know if you liked it if you didn't like it what you loved or disliked about it because i am just really really excited i'm so glad that i filmed this even though it's december 28th now and it's gonna go live very soon but like i'm so glad i filmed this back in november it was really fun to actually edit it and see my thoughts i'm really excited to do these uh vlogs with spoilers for 2020 i feel like it's gonna be almost like a reading diary for me you know i can see what it was like reading a book throughout the whole time of me reading it it's really cool so anyway if you like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you like these kinds of videos and i think that's it so i will see you guys soon in another video bye everyone